Today is April 15th, and Pastor is saying to us, Create with words. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Maybe you desire a change in your finances, business, health, academics, family, or ministry. No matter the situation is, you can create that change. Just like your Heavenly Father, you can utter words and have your desires created. You can change the course of your life with words and make it conform to God's plan for you. The Bible says you were created in God's image and likeness. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Therefore, you have the ability to speak to things or situations and elicit a definite response from them. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. He simply commanded it to appear, and it did. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6 sheds more light on what happened in that instance. It says, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, had shined in our hearts. Also, in Genesis chapter 1 verses 11 to 12, the Bible says, God spoke to the earth to bring forth grass and plants, and it did. In Genesis chapter 1 verses 20 to 21, likewise, the Bible says, And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life. He spoke to the water, and it brought forth all manner of creatures. Our theme verse says, Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. If the things which are visible to the optical eyes were made of things which are invisible, then these invisible things, the spoken words from our lips, must be subatomic particles. Spoken words are coded messages that create sound waves. These sound codes are thus transmitted to the elements, darkness, earth, water, and God elicited a definite response from each of them. The fact that these elements produce the exact things God demanded is proof that there was an interpretation of the code sent to each of them through words. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, Amplified Classic says, Therefore, be imitators of God, copy Him, and follow His example, as well-beloved children imitate their Father. God expects you to copy him, to act like him. Therefore, with your words, you can change hopeless situations. Even if you had a great life already, you can make it much more glorious by your faith-filled words. Please say this confession with me. I use my mouth to create the glorious future I want to see. Even now, I release words of prosperity, strength, grace, victories, and promotions about my family, job, business, academics, health. I live in the reality of my heritage in Christ. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3 of the Amplified Classic, and Psalm chapter 33, verse 6. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 14, verses 25 to chapter 15, verses 1 to 10, and Judges chapters 19 to 21. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 2, verses 13 to 22, and Leviticus chapter 15. Rhapsody of reality.